My name is Michelle Adler Morrison with Youth Guidance. I'm the Chief Executive Officer. Youth Guidance creates and implements school based programs that help at risk youth succeed in school and in life. So we provide a lot of social emotional supports, a lot of after school programming, and youth workforce development. When the school was built, uh, most of the people who lived in this particular community didn't go to the school. And in fact, um, early on in its creation, um, it quickly became a school in crisis. My name is Tara Shelton, and I am the principal of South Loop Elementary School. You know, at one time, South Loop School was a low-performing school. It was, it was slated to close. The community was changing drastically. It was changing economically. It was, it was changing by its diversity. But they, we were not a school of choice for the community. So we had to offer something that parents interest them. And this program interests them because they wanted things for their kids to do after school. We work very closely with the principal and the parent group to say, how do we cre create a, an after-school program make the school a better resource, but for the broad spectrum of parents who were using the school. So that means we had to create a program that um, was partially funded by the CDBG government grant, but that also had this diversified revenue so that parents who could pay would pay for the program, and we can create a sustainable program that wasn't just dependent on one revenue stream. And again, I can't tell you how totally different that was for us as an agency. We'd actually never done anything like that before. My name is Keisha Farmer-Smith, and I'm proud to be a youth guidance parent. Not only did my children have a safe base, but their tuition-based program was sliding scale. And so as a graduate student, they created an environment that I could afford to send my children to the after-school program. Everybody knows the state of the state of Illinois. It's really struggling. And we might go for uh, six to nine months before actually getting paid. So, you know, our services, we don't, they're not dry docked. You don't put them away and wait until you get funded. If we continue on the path of just complete dependence on government resources, we're not going to be able to sustain our program and we're certainly not going to be able to deliver on our mission to all the students who really need it. Having an earned income strategy helps you deliver on your mission. The dollars, they're not going into stakeholders' pockets or something like that. They just get woven back into the program so you're able to sustain programs over time. My name is David Sinsky, and I'm the Chief Officer of Strategy and Innovation at After School Matters. When Gallery 37 started in 1991, uh, Mrs. Daly, who's our founder, and um, this was really her dream and her vision, the program was really successful. And we had 220 young people working alongside professional artists creating these wonderful pieces of work. Hi, my name is Paula Martinez, and I'm a lead instructor for After School Matters. Its mission is to give teenagers or young folks the opportunity to uh, investigate their talent, to develop their talent, and then to um, have opportunities after they have developed them. The question was, well, what do we do with all this great work and this great artwork? They generated a number of ideas, and ultimately what they landed on was selling the work and putting the profit of those sales back into the program so that more kids could benefit from the program. My name is Ben Carlos. I'm the After School Matters retail store manager. Back in the day, the retail store was really to showcase the teen's work. But now, basically, it's like it's more, you know, it's, a, it's an everyday kind of like fundraising. This is like actually the beginning of our fiscal year. It's the first time we, the retail store has done $100,000 in six years. I remember back when I was uh, their age, I thought it was really exciting to think that my art was being sold, and I think they do get excited. Many times people can't believe that the work in the Gallery 37 retail store is produced by teenagers and um, it allows people to rethink the potential of young people and their possibilities. I think that programs like Youth Guidance are key to supporting safe space, spaces where kids can think creatively and critically, 
and spaces where children feel affirmed. They need somewhere to go. They need something positive to focus in on and something that supports them as young people. Sometimes I think those of us in the nonprofit world think for profit is a dirty word, but helping people um, by making a profit is a good thing.